Yo, what is up, you lot? Welcome to Team of the Week number 20. And um, it's an interesting week, right? Uh, usually, we have one player who's over 500k. And we do here. It's pretty normal in that, that way. Varon is going to be the player that is over 500k, definitely. Um, Neuer as well, good goalkeeper, to be fair. Shaw, I think he'll stay for midweek. I think it only makes sense. Um... So Wambasaka did get a, an assist against Everton. Nah, I think Shaw will stay. Angelino as well. Could be a left mid or a left wing back. We'll, we still have to see two assists and a clean sheet. Uh, Demirabai, two goals, stays in. Golovin, two goals and an assist. And I believe a 4 0 win. Crazy. Crazy. Demiria stays in from the last video as well. Um, Probably going to be around 100 ish K. Perhaps. Oyozabo, I believe he scored twice. Um, just fodder, really, he is. Uh, Moreno as well, you could say. Scored twice, same thing. Just fodder. Uh, Malin, uh, I think he has a really good chance of getting in. Two goals should be enough. Foden, one goal, one assist. End the man of the match. Um, Gundogan, also scored two goals. But, he's going to get... Uh, he's probably going to be the one to get player of the month. So I think Foden should be the one. And plus Foden did get man of the match. Um, moving on. Martinez. He stays in. Dunk. He also stays in. Ducore. One goal, one assist against Manchester United in a 3-3 draw. Um, deserves it. Laborde, I believe. Two goals, one assist. Um, in a win for Montpellier. Um, anyone else on the bench worth anything? Pedro Goncalves, quite high rated, I guess. Unsam, second in form, also pretty decent. And Almiron is just fast. Also, someone in my comments shouted out this Buntic goalkeeper. He scored in the 90th minute to equalize. Um, so he definitely has a really decent <laughs> chance of getting in. Um, now moving on to the... Contenders, not nothing really big in the contenders. Biggest thing there is Depay, who scored twice. Um, let me just read out the others for you because it might be hard to read. Wambsaka, Martial, Rebic could easily get in. Um, Moutinho, Wilshire, Jorginho, Muriel, Benega, Mukiele, Depay, and Juan Jordan. Um, now we're going to Silver Stars. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the first guy. Uh, the Cologne midfielder. Sugawara next. Canelo, um, I think, is the most probable. He scored a hat trick. I and Barrow as well could get a few stars um, too. That's the whole team of the week. Now, let's get into investments. Now, in the team of the week, you want to invest around players that actually get used, right? So, in here, there's basically two players who are ever going to get used. And have a chance of getting in. That's that's Veron, Di Maria, and Neuer as well. So that's three. Um, Veron, Di Maria, and Neuer. So for Neuer, you want to invest in... What do you invest in? Not much. There aren't good links. There aren't good links for Neuer, so I'd leave him alone. Veron, you can invest in Mendy. Don't, I wouldn't say invest in Ramos. He works well. Carver Hall is a decent investment. Courtois is also a really good investment. Um, French as well, so Langley. Uh, I'm trying to think of others. Not many others, to be fair. Um, yeah, players like that. Players like that. pick a couple up. They'll probably inflate by like 5k. Easy profit. Um, Di Maria as well. PSG players like no one would use Verratti, would they? <laughs> um, who? I really can't think of anyone for PSG either. I think it's just. Real Madrid for this one. Um, maybe he wants to watch Florenzi. Uh, from right back in in from Florenzi, they have a link down that line, I guess. And yeah, that's basically it. Like the fodder ones, they don't make any other players go up in price. It's just the really good ones that do. Right. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, like, subscribe. See you guys in a bit. Peace.